Look, if surviving on a diet of insects doesn't sound particularly appetizing, one man has been around the world eating far worse. To find out how people survive in extreme conditions, if you're having your dinner right now, move that to one side, don't turn over because you'll want to see this. I'm joined by Stephen Gates, um, Stephen Gates, I should say, Stephen, and you've got your dinner with you. <laughs> that's right, I'm sorted. <laughs> uh, because eating insects, I mean, it's something that's unpalatable to us, by and large, in the West, but elsewhere, it's normal. There's about two billion people around the world who, who eat insect protein on a, on a regular basis, to, for whom it's an important source of, of, of protein. And if you go to places like Thailand, it's not, I think people think that this is desperation food. You know, when, when everything else is gone, maybe I'll force myself to eat insect. It's, it's premium stuff in, in Thailand. It was desperation in, in David's case. I mean, if we look at the cave where, you know, he was stuck, well, from your point of view, it's a veritable treasure trove of, <laughs> of morsels, right? Well, I, ants are very good. They, ants have a little bit of formic acid in, so they've got a little bit of a tang to them. They're, they're absolutely delicious. Okay. And, and if, you're, if you're stuck somewhere, if you've got a, a light spare and maybe a, a, something white, point the light at a white blanket or a, or a shirt or something at night, and you will get all of the insects around coming and, and, and hitting oh, them. Oh, well, moths, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, you can, can eat moths, really? Do you know what? If, if you cook most of these things, okay. and you need the means of cooking, you can pr eat most things. I mean, you need to be careful, it's a bit like having mushrooms. You've got to be a little bit careful, have a little bit of knowledge. Um, but yes, you can. I mean, th these are fantastic. So these are, what I've got here, are these are called chapulines. Okay. Now, chapulines are grasshoppers. It doesn't look like a grasshopper because the, uh, the legs have been pulled off after cooking because they've got little barbs on them. But right. they taste fantastic. A little bit of a sort of a, a, a kind of a citrus kick to them. Yes, and you're going to eat them because you do it all the time. I know mm. people are expecting That's me to try these. I have done before. I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because people might be having their dinner. Yeah. Uh, there is a serious message to this, though. I mean, okay, it seems like it's slightly gimmicky to us. Yeah. But with food supplies, you know, dwindling, if you like, in certain parts of the world, this could be a serious answer. This, it's not just a could. I mean, this is the future. Right. In 20 years' time, we'll, we will be eating these, and we probably won't know it. They'll, they'll be called forest burgers. They'll be made out of these fellows here. They'll be mealworms, and they'll be compacted in, into a burger. It'll be very cheap because they, they use up very little land, very few inputs to, you know, to get a kilo of, yeah. of, of mealworms out. You don't need to put much more than about a kilo and a half of vegetable matter in. Because you haven't foraged for these. These have been farmed somewhere, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, these have been farmed, and these are actually being farmed for human consumption okay. in Holland, and they're, they're sold in the shops in, in Holland as well. But the other thing that we've got at the end here. Yeah. Uh, this is a little um, marshmallow. I would eat those. Would you have a marshmallow? Here we go. Oh, go Excuse on. fingers. If I, if I have to eat something, I'll eat the You pop the one in. So uh, the thing about these marshmallows is the reason they are pink right. is because they've got cochineal bug blood in them. Oh, I just swallowed it as well. Well done. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. Now, if you, if you see any packaging that says E120 or carmine or cochineal, mm. what you're eating is coch ground up cochineal bugs. Okay. And they're natural, so you can put the word natural colouring on your packaging. And, uh, and uh, people People eat it all the day. Loads of sweets have this in. Doesn't week. seem so bad. I hope it hasn't put people off their dinner.